Hey guys, good morning. So we're uh, working on a driveway here out in Crawford, Tennessee. And this is actually a real classic situation. So people love to talk about 57 and they love them and I'm going to get all the hate and I, I, that's fine. Hate away. But the problem is, is that people think, oh, you put 57 on a driveway and I'm not saying you can't. It can work if it's flat. But I can't tell you how many driveways I've had to fix because they get sick of it pushing. See, all this 57 out here is pushing. It's all gotten pushed out. So they put all, they took all this. It was actually over here at one point. They took all that, and it's just the, the... They've been pushing it out. All the vehicles just driving and pushing it out, pushing it out. So they, in this case, they had crush on here. You can see it's right here. But they decided to put 57 over it because they thought, oh, this will work. Well, this is a steep hill, guys. This is probably uh, probably 15%, I'd say. And, I, and uh, you may not be able to tell here, but you can see where this is what they do. You should have seen the owners... While we were out here walking it before we got started, the owners came out and were talking to us, and they it's like like tearing all up through here, just like sliding it all over the place because it just spins. Because this don't ever please don't ever put 57 on a hill. If you want to go put it on some flat areas and you like having the rocket pushed around, then so be it. But please, please. Don't ever put 57 on a hill. This is what's going to happen. And it's going to happen every time. And then you're going to be having us come out here and paying us your good money to fix it. Of course, we're happy to do that. But I hate that. I hate people just having to have problems and dealing with it. And that's, that's probably the worst of it is just all the headache that they've gone through with having to deal with all this so please don't do that and we're gonna we're gonna get all this fixed up get it regraded that's another thing is it's just not it's just not pitched correctly um so we're gonna get all this uh, picked figured out and we're gonna get all that in there we're actually not gonna be touching this area over here we're just gonna be doing this area down there so I'll, uh, we'll be posting. I don't have great internet out here, so I can't do them live. But I'll be posting as we uh, as I can. And quite honestly, you probably just get a better picture. All right, so here's what we've uh, figured out so far is that originally this was pitching at about 7%, which is too steep. It, that can get the water going too quick. So we're going to be setting it for 4% and grading it to 4% across this way. So we're going to have a cross pitch of about 4%. And what that's going to do is it's going to let the water just ease on off. It's actually going to feel pretty pretty flat you're not going to really notice much of a tilt and uh, the dump truck drivers will be thanking us for that and so we're just going to um we're going to do that and then what we'll do is we're going to push this and get it so that the driveway is tight against this uh, ditch here there's a nice ditch here but it's not really serving the driveway it's really just dealing with all the water that's coming down through here but you can see how it's too high right now, so we got to get all this. We got to get this up, and we got to get it over so that this this whole road is moved over. So really, what we're gonna do is take this this section of the road and just slide it over this way, 
and then we'll just let it kind of just pitch off. We're actually going to be regrading this area too because I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a but it's just a hot mess of ups and downs. And can you imagine trying to mow in that? That's not going to go super well. So this is what uh, this is this is where we're at right now. And uh, keep checking back, and we'll uh, give you all updates as we go. So you can see all that this is the majority of this material that we're moving is all the 57 that was sitting on top of this it's not possible for these cars to be able to drive up this you can see right there we just dropped into some some crush but what we're doing is we're gonna get all this and we're gonna push it see that gap in there right there we're gonna fill that in with material so you can see how getting a little closer and closer to filling that in we're just pushing that material over there so that the road is going to be able to take advantage of this ditch here and we're going to pitch all this so any water that's coming over here it's just going to it's going to slide this way but we can't have any water right here because otherwise the water's just going to run the water's just going to run right down that side so that's why we've got to get this road all the way up against here so that any water that's any water that's on this uh, on this side of this hump here is going to go into the ditch and any water that's on this side of the hump is just going to flow off and up. So you can see we're just we're still grading down here getting this the way that it needs to be. But I just want you to see so basically what we've done is we've shaved off the 57 yes we're regrading it and and getting it to pitch better but i just want you to see that man this would be just if we stopped right now this would be infinitely better than what they were dealing with with that 57 you can see up there their tires wouldn't be spinning out they would actually right in here they would just cruise they would just cruise up this hill as it is right now they, it, they would they would be so thrilled if we just stopped right here and packed up and said, okay, here you go. Because this, it would be infinitely better than what they were having to deal with before. But you can see now, see how this gravel is up against the, the ditch? That's why it needed to be. We needed this water to basically either come this way or be in the ditch. And now you can see that that's how it is the whole way. So, um, so that's what, that's where we're at, and uh, it's coming together good. We still got to grade all this in here, and we're gonna do some work over at the barn there too. And then, of course, you can see we haven't touched uh, that section out there. But this is uh, this is what's going on. Looking good so far. All right, so we got our first load of crush in, and uh, they had to go pretty thick with it see how thick it is because it there was just large chunks of clumped up crusher that they were afraid wasn't uh, gonna clear the gate and so I said hey just do it thick and then we don't have to worry about it too much but it actually came out came out no problem really there's just a couple little clumps there so now we're just gonna start working our way out now comes the uh, the easy part I guess you could say we're all ready for them. We just uh, need those trucks to keep coming and keep spreading out. Um, and uh, we'll keep working our way up. And then over here, what we're doing is uh, just mixing the, this is really just about some functionality. And he's got a tractor, he's got some implements here and and he just was having a hard time. It'd get muddy when it was wet. And, and so instead of uh, just leaving it all muddy, we're just gonna, we put down some two inch here. And uh, that way he can get around and move around. We'll pack it so it'll be compacted. But uh, that way he can not have to be just mucking around in the mud when it does rain. Cause there's actually a pretty fair amount of water that comes through here. Kind of comes down this hill over here and comes over into here. So. Uh, that's what we be doing. All right, 
right, well, we lost the audio on the original recording, so I'm going to be recording this back in front of the computer. But you can see how this finished up here. Um, it's compacted. It's hard. Uh, those marks are just from the, the roller. Uh, we have a single drum, and so it does leave a few little marks. But you can see how hard and compacted it is and smooth. It's uh, extremely hard. You can see how on the right side, how we've got everything matching up with the ditch now. Then it's flowing off to the left. You can also see where on the left side uh, we did that grading and smooth that all out over there. So it's the water's flowing. It, he's not going to get the living tar beat out of him when he's mowing. Uh, they, the owner decided to seed straw that area, so we are uh, got it all prepped for him with our soils conditioner, basically creating a seed bed for him. This is, this is how it all turned out. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.